Hi, alien. Hi, Spartan. Welcome in. Guys, read the pin chat. Man, I'm so nervous. I should not be nervous. Hi, Spartan. Hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Guys, read the pin chat. I think ad should be over. Also, Spartan, you're forgiven. Just don't be acting out. <laughs> Is Peace in our taking over? I mean, maybe she might. She also might make a special appearance today. Who knows? It's your birthday? No, it's not. I mean, unless you guys want to, like, give me subs, then yeah, it's my birthday. <laughs> nah. Did I, did I indicate that it was my birthday? I don't think I did. Is Peace and Art your real name? Yes, sir. It's on my birth certificate, surely. And that was a random comment on your last IG post? Oh. Oh, the GIF thing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that was me? What? <laughs> you know what I'll say? You probably did that for attention. <laughs> the only other time that somebody... Wait, there's only two other times where people love GIF comments. One time was where I was talking about Dean... And then, sorry, I feel like the music is really loud. I was talking about, like, Supernatural and somebody left a Dean GIF. And then another time, it was somebody leaving a GIF. Like, it was on the reel that popped off and they it just said, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> it 
The supernatural one was you? Ain't no way. I don't know your user on IG tooth, so I don't know. Okay, I'm almost done posting. I think that was for me too. Wait, are you guys both gaslighting me? I don't think that's appropriate, I'll be honest. You know, I'm supposed to gaslight you guys, not the other way around. Okay. We've stalled for a little bit. Guys? Hello. Good afternoon! It's not morning! Good evening, hope you guys are doing well. It is 12.41 on July 26th, Friday, 2024. Now, today is a very spe I feel like my chair is so low. I'm so short. Real POV. Okay. Today's a special stream. We are shilling, we are selling. But anyway. It has been over a year since I've added new artwork to the website. And you know what? Some of you guys know why, some of you guys don't. For those who don't know why, um, for the past year, I was on government state disability benefits. So I was not allowed to like sell stuff. I was not allowed to like make extra capital. So I still had the website up, but I just couldn't sell anything. And I also couldn't work on anything technically because it would count as like work or business work. So the website was kind of on a hiatus for a year. But then since June, I've been off benefits. Now I can do like make as much bank as I want. Guys, donate right now. If somebody gives me like 10K right now, it's fine. What the Sigma? Why? Um, If you are currently getting disability benefits or if you're considering it, there are income maximums. And if you earn more than fifty dollars from any means you have to report it to your state government and then you get less benefits the following month so like if i sold three paintings and made five hundred dollars then it would make me Ill ineligible to get government benefits the following month but i'm off benefits now so i can do whatever i like now but then i'm also not getting benefits <laughs> so that's why so that's why i had to take a hiatus but, you know, the website was still up. And you know what? We have new artwork out, finally. Now, I am happy to reveal the final product of what I've been working on for the past few weeks. If you're following the art channel, which is peace and underscore art, you'll probably know what it is. But I was working on Lino Prince. So, today, we're going to be doing a little deep dive into the creative process that I've been doing the past few weeks, going over the blog post that I posted this morning. Also, doing a little special things. So we'll probably stream for like an hour or two. Also, if we hit our daily goal of five sales, if we hit our goal of five sales today, I will give away an additional gift card. So it does say giveaway in the title. So we usually do giveaways whenever there is a new drop. So the giveaway today will be, if you live in most any country, if you live in a country that I can mail from the US to, you, you, can, you can win. You will win the entire Lino Print line, which is a $40 value. You'll win this all for free. Use your channel points and enter now. Or there will be two recipients who will win the gift card. So the gift card will be $10 in store credit. I said it was gonna be 20, but since these are lower price point, just $10 gift card. So two people, US only, will win gift cards. And we'll do that at the end of stream. So in order to enter, use your channel points at the bottom of the chat room. If you're watching on desktop, it should be here. If you're watching on mobile, it should be down here. Use your channel points. And also, like I said, if you live in the U.S., you can get the gift card. But if you don't live in the U.S., you cannot win the gift card. So please make sure you enter the right giveaway. Tooth, I think you said you do not live in the States. <laughs> Dude, I literally was so clear. <laughs> I did that earlier. Thank you. So, but if you want to enter the art giveaway where you can win the entire set of prints, that can be most any country. Just like, not North Korea. <laughs> Uh, type 1 if you're watching from North Korea. 
I just want to participate. Oh, well, then you can't win if you. <laughs> You're you're just stuffing the ballot boxes. <laughs> Can't disclose if I'm watching from there. Just type two and say you're lying. My protein shake. Okay. So that is the plan. We're gonna go over the art pieces, a little bit of the process, and then give away at the end. So this is gonna be a short stream. And if you wanna win, you have to be present. You have to be present. And also, you can enter both giveaways if you live in the States. Okay. I think that's all. Is there anything else? Oh, also, I fixed the second camera. I fixed it. Because apparently it does not charge when it's being streamed on, which sucks. So it's at 100% battery. It'll last for like five hours, we've learned. Okay. I think I'm ready now. So... This is, wait, I should pull up the website actually when I talk about this. So the homepage looks the same. I didn't have time to like edit the homepage because you know drama. What's the command for the website? Exclamation point shop. And the shop will link you directly to the actual um, shop page here. Okay. I gotta scoot this way. Let's jump into it. So the homepage looks the same, but now we have the floral stained glass pieces. Now, I tried to, like, color correct the best I could, but if you go ahead and click on it, you will see two different variations. There will be color versions, and then also just regular black and white, because most stamp prints are just positive space and negative space, right? So, it'll be the black and white version, which is just the embossed on top of Bristol cardstock. And then you can choose to get the colored version where, like, I colored it in all cute and stuff. Now, keep in mind, the price points are different. Obviously, we'll go more into this later when we talk about the actual process. The ones that are not colored will be lower price point. So the set of four is 24 for black and white. For full color, it's 44. It's because... Let's go back home. So you can find it in either this, this, <laughs> the shop section <laughs> under Lino Prints. And then it should have them all here. Or if you go to Gallery, Lino Prints, and then the collection here. So just to reemphasize, re when you go to the home page, if you click on the shop section, the edges are so hard. <laughs> the Tower of Tiles painting is so cool. Thank you. It's the one that's like right off screen here. Is it live? Yes, sir. And Kim, if we hit five sales today, chat gets an additional gift card giveaway. Till Mac. Also, can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, what was I doing? Yeah, so if you go to the homepage, click on Shop, Lino Prints, they're all here. So you can choose to get the entire set, or you can choose to get the single prints. So if you go ahead and click on the first one, which is the rose one, right here, you can choose either the color version, which is $12 base, or the black and white print, which is $7. And I do have pictures of, the, of them side by side, and then a video. Because the embossing is a semi-gloss. It's not super glossy, but it's a semi- Wait! I forgot to mention at the start of stream, everybody who places an order uh, today until midnight PST, you get an exclusive holo print. Today only. This is for the investors and the collectors and people who are, are like genuinely like the shit I make. It's actually crazy. I've been workshopping the holo print for a few days now. That's why I, was, I didn't work on it on stream. I finalized a prototype yesterday, and let me just say, it's kind of crazy. So how the holo will work is it's not a different price point. It's not an option you can buy. So for every single print listing, one in every 10, so 10% of all prints sold will be holo. So it's completely random. So to compare... This is the normal print. Oh, should we do it on the second camera? I think the lighting on the second camera is better. Okay. 
So this is the normal print. Just color. Remember, the color grading on this camera is a bit warmer, so this isn't... This is more true to the colors you'll see in real life. So this is the normal print. And one in every ten, and also, everybody who makes a purchase today will receive a free hollow. Okay, the gloss, it's there. I promise it's there. But the hollow is the green to yellow hollow. Let me see if it'll... Okay, it's kind of like... <laughs> I, I swear on everything that is holographic. I swear on everything, on everything. What you can kind of see here, it's so washed out on this camera. How do I demonstrate? <laughs> Wait, can I like post a picture on my Twitch story? Will that work? Anyway, can I, let me fix the white balance on here. That way we can like kind of see it. Thank you for entering, Kim. Giveaway will be at the end of stream, but you have to watch the entire stream to win it. Smile. Okay. Okay, that looks a little- Oh, there! Okay! See how it has the gloss and the sheer on the entire piece? Versus just the flat matte color that you can purchase. Where the gloss is just on the black borders, the regular embossing. So just to make clear, you cannot purchase the holographic card. You can only get it for free today if you make a purchase today, only until 12 p.m. PST. Or if you purchase the single normal prints, it'll be a 1 in 10. I know I cannot purchase. I'm sorry, Tooth. If you can, if I can mail it to you, enter the giveaway. I'm stealing Max. Don't! I don't want you guys to, like, get a divorce. Wait, the hollow is actually crazy. Look at that. So, how I got the hollow. This took a little bit of trial and error. Um, this is made with the similar method with the mica powder and varnish, but instead of doing a thin layer and brushing it on, I kind of had to goop it on. So, it added, like, okay, it looks very flat on here, but it added, like, an entire level of thickness to the paper. So, like I said, everybody who makes a purchase gets a free hollow of a random print. It's completely random. This one I made two days ago, so it's fully dry. These fuckers... <laughs> business stream these hollows take an entire day and a half to dry so the other ones are still drying so i can't touch them but yeah okay yeah so that's explaining the hollows like i said if you want a chance to win the entire flat colored lionel print line you can enter the giveaway or you can get a ten dollar gift card but also use your channel points to enter that was not very skibbity of you. I forgot this is like a business stream, even though we're on the main channel. The reason why we're doing the stream on the main channel is because like I have more clout on this channel and there's no channel points on the art channel. Okay, let me turn off the... Wait, no, I'm dark. Like in real life and then also on camera. Look at that, so much brighter. Collab stream. Should we th put the PNG tuber on screen? Also, I didn't shower today because I was so nervous. I knew I just sweat through my clothes again. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that was explaining the hollow. We go to shop Lino prints. You can choose to get the entire set or the singles. So, just to make clear. Uh, let me open a new tab so we can like pull them up side by side. Nope. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, the entire set where you get all four cards in one purchase is $44. Versus if you were to buy each single card, it's $12. So, theoretically, if you chose to buy four singles, it would be $48. Or you can choose to get the entire set for $44. But just asterisk, if you want a chance to get the hollow, you would have to buy the singles. I'm not offering the 10% hollow for the set collection. Just to make clear. So if you want to get a hollow, you either got to make a purchase today or you just purchase the singles. There may be a point where I do offer the hollow versions for sale. 
But I did a little bit of market research, and by that, I mean I asked my sister and other friends what they thought. And they said it's probably better to start with a gotcha, like give people a little chance of getting a hollow, like Pokemon. And then whenever there's like more like word of mouth or or what you call it. Or like demand, then I can offer a hollow version. Because the just to explain the price point, dude, oh my god, I was talking to my sister about this last night, because we'll talk about this later. <laughs> but just a little foreshadowing. I asked my sister how much she would pay for the prince. And you know what she dead ass said? A dollar. And I was like, what? She knows it took me two hours to carve each stamp. She knows it takes fucking ten minutes to make every print because it's embossed. And we'll explain the difference later. She knows it takes ten to twenty minutes to color these. And that bitch said one dollar. <laughs> She's not watching this stream, but she's home. <laughs> I hope she hears me. <laughs> but I was like, oh my god. Okay, so just to explain the explain the price point. So if you want to purchase the individual black and white print, it's 7 for a single, and then color is 12. The reason why it's priced this way is because 1. Support local independent artists. 2. The main cost is labor. Just to be fully transparent, Embossing powder is relatively lower price point. The inks are kind of expensive, but both the powders and inks will last you years and years. So it's like a one-time purchase. But then, the actual paper that I use is Bristol. So, I wish I could put these on a carousel. Okay, let's put them all here. So the paper I used for these prints are Bristol. It's flipped on camera. This is the Stathmore brand. I had it in my closet, but it's honestly some of the best paper you can use for ink media. So it's designed for like pencil or ink work because the paper doesn't absorb too much. It's also really thick. So the main differential between like um, Bristol and regular cardstock is cardstock is usually sheets. Like you can order like a ream of a ream is like a pre-packaged stack of paper you can order a ream of cardstock and it's relatively cheap but bristol comes kind of binded like a book where it's like glued together almost and it's like it's like you're working out of a sketchbook but you can easily tear out your pages whenever you're done with the paper pad so it's relatively nice and i think 20 sheets of papers is like 10 to 20 dollars so like it's a dollar per paper and each paper can fit eight cards, so that means um, the paper costs 10 to 15 cents per card or print, per print. So it's kind of expensive paper. But in terms of like overall, material is minuscule. The main cost is labor, because as we saw on stream, whenever I did do the actual embossing, I did demo some on the art channel the other day. It takes like a lot of precision, like honestly. If anybody's ever done stamping themselves, you can understand, like, it's very easy to, like, fuck it up. Like, get smudges, or what you call it. Get smudges on it. Or, like, press wrong. Because when you make a stamp, like, if you're putting this on your paper, it's very easy to wobble your stamp, and then you get an uneven image. You want to know what's funny? These are all the botched prints. These are literally all the ones that I fucked up. Right now, in terms of accuracy, I have like a 60% accuracy. But it's because I'm so nitpicky. Like, I don't know if it'll show on the second camera. Have I had any orders yet? No, not yet. But for every single order I get during the stream, I'm gonna jump up and down and yay, yell, hooray! <laughs> like a cartoon character. You're lying? No, did I? Did I? I didn't get an email. And if you're lying, I'm not lying. Wait, am I lying? <laughs> Wait, am I lying? Oh my god, I got her! Holy shit! I didn't get the notey. Ain't no way! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for the order. Wait, I have the... Wait, where's the alert? Ain't no way. Thank you for your order. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. 
guys. One out of five, baby. <laughs> I didn't look at who the purchase was, but thank you. I assume it's you, Kim. But thank you, Kim. <laughs> the drag on. I think it's so much funnier to do it like this. Okay. <laughs> okay, I actually need to copy that layer. To here. There we go. Yeah, thank you, Kim. Why? I'm so annoyed. I didn't get a notey. Okay, anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Okay. 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 What was I talking about? But seriously, thank you, Kim. I thought you were Peter Griffin for a second. Nah, dude. Ain't me. But welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, so anyway. This entire stack is botched prints. It's because, oh yeah, I was looking at the second camera. So whenever you do an embossed print, embossing is the concept in which there is either raised or indented surfaces on your paper. So <clears throat> like this is just a regular black and white. Like if you don't do this, but like if you run your nails, it's kind of texture. It's kind of textured, right? So some of this is from the botched pile. I will not be selling a botched print, don't worry. But some of them have speckles. Some of the line work isn't super clean. It doesn't come out across on camera, but like if you saw in person, you would. So, you know, with, with all these botched prints, I'm just gonna like hand it out to the neighborhood children and like tell them to watch me on Twitch. <laughs> no, no, no. I have like a I have like friends who have like little siblings. And, you know, they'll, they'll, like, enjoy coloring it. Anyway, so that's the plan. Pick one out of four. 21. How about two? <laughs> Can I make a purchase if I put your address? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. But I'm sorry, Tooth. TTS is not on. It's not on. But if you cheer 500 bits, you get peace and bought TTS, which I think is crazy. I wouldn't trust kids to color those. It's fine. These are botched ones. It's fine. So, the plan is simple. Boys. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm offering both colored and regular line art versions is because some people don't like colored. Some people just like regular line art. I want to get MAC one, but... I oh, shit. I mixed up my stacks. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, Monka. Oh, wait, it's fine. I figured it out. Okay, I need to stop mixing up the botched ones. <sighs> I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm all over the place. Guys, this is what happens when I don't have a script. This is a business dream. Okay, the reason why I have a black and white and the color version is because, like... I know I appreciate just, like, regular, like, stamp work, like, just regular lino prints. And then I know some people want colored versions, and that's fine. Ultimately, one of my long-term goals with art in general, in terms of, like, products, is I would love, I would absolutely love to sell a coloring book. So, if people want, now this is only if you, like, really, 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 really want to, you can choose to color your print. Like, if you buy the black and white one, go for it. I don't fucking care. You bought it. But if you do choose to color yourself, like, post it on socials and tag my accounts, that'd be cool. Because, you know, all the middle-aged white women, they love coloring. So I was thinking. I was pondering. And I had an epiphany. What if... Along with offering regular embossed, I just offered, like... Just regular dye ink stamps where it's not a raised surface. And then if somebody wants to order like them in bulk, I'll offer them like a discounted price, like 50 cents each or some shit. But yeah, because I had my sister color one last night just to like do a little bit of market research. And you guys want to see it? Now, my sister is only two years younger than me. 
she's also artsy, but she's not like she and I have a very different art style. She personally does not like the clean aesthetic. She likes texture a lot. She likes shading. She she's not as like expressive when it comes to illustration, but she loves like texture and blending and shit stuff and stuff. So this is the one that she colored. Here, let me show the blank of the daisy just for comparison. Now, she said she did this in like 20 minutes and she she was like paranoid. She's like, please, if you show chat, like, please make sure to tell them that this coloring is a work in progress. I had her color it at like 930 when she was trying to go to sleep like an asshole. <laughs> so this is what she colored. And like, honestly, I kind of like this color palette, too. But what she did. Is she did darker colors near the center and lighter towards the outer edge, which looks nice. The ombre isn't as well executed, but that's because she doesn't use markers often. Um, but yeah, so like, I was also gonna have other people try to color to see how they'd color, but wasn't I didn't have time or the friends because everybody's working during the week, right? But yeah, so. If you purchase a regular black and white print and you want to color it, go for it. And if you do it. Tell me you did it. I want to see you. I want to see how you color. Uh, near the end of stream today, we will I will color different versions just for fun. Like, we can try marker. We can try color pencil. Because Bristol, the only medium you can't really use on it is, like, heavy water-based mediums. So, like, regular ink pen. Like, dipping a brush into ink. Or probably watercolor would not work well. Because Bristol doesn't absorb liquid as well. Like, a huge amount of liquid. But, like, it works with a regular, like, Sharpie or ink pen. But, yeah. Because, like I said, one of the long-term goals is making a coloring book. That is the goal. And I think offering, like, regular black and white versions of prints, whether it be, like, embossed or regular just dye ink prints, I think that could be, like, a good way to, like, step into and learn how to, like, demonstrate form and illustration with just lines because like when you look at a coloring book obviously there's not a lot of realism there's no shading because you anticipate the user to shade so you have to rely more heavily on the actual shape of your drawing the line widths you use and so on so i think with future lino prints whether large or small i think that'd be like a good thing to tackle like subconsciously because i want to try and launch a coloring book in two years because hopefully in two years, you know, we'll be YouTube famous and then I can afford, like, a actual manufacturer. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I think that's, like, all the basics, I believe. Like, a brief overview. So now... We have a brief overview. Let's do a little bit more of a deeper dive. So this morning... Along with, or not this morning, it was like exactly at noon, basically. That would be so neat. I know, I want to make a coloring book so bad. And I think it would be good for my style, because I usually gravitate towards line arts anyway. So, yeah. Okay, so now we can do a little bit more of a deep dive into the actual process. So, this morning... Oh, wait. Peace in line, people cried. I just want to read one of the product descriptions out loud for the audio listeners. So, all the descriptions are very similar, but just to, like, give an overview of what every listing is. It is a dye ink embossed, or dye ink embossed on Bristol cardstock paper. Length 2.5, height 3.5 inches. Specifications, thin and lightweight. Print from hand-drawn card illustration. Raised embossed texture with gloss finish. You guys saw that. Look at that. Full opaque coloring. And then final note, 10% of all prints will be holographic, not pictured. Because I don't want you guys to see what hollow looks like unless you, like, magically get it one day. Okay, description. Each print is handmade by Peason. Okay, I forgot to put a period there. Shit. <laughs> Editor, fix it! These prints use black dye ink, which is heat set with clear embossing to create a clean and raised print that is slightly more elevated than a traditional ink block print. 
So a block print is where people would carve into wood and then stamp it in ink. So a lino print is a form of block printing, but lino will typically use rubber instead of wood. Or like linoleum, but colloquially, colloquially you can just call it rubber. There are two versions available, black and white and color. The black and white has no coloring, just the embossed print, while the color version has the embossing along with the intersections colored in with dye ink marker. Italized, 10% of all color versions of this print will be holographic, which is made by placing a thick layer of holographic mica powders and varnish. Um, also in all the descriptions, I do link out to the original collection to where you can see all of the actual pieces together. And then I also link to the blog post, which we will be going over on stream today. Also, important note for anybody who does collect or who is considering or has purchased. Do not put these cards in two sleeves that are exactly 2.5 by 3.5. I made this mistake when I was concepting out. So, since the cards are literally exactly 2.5 by 3.5, if not off by like a fraction of a millimeter, these will not fit in traditional baseball card sleeves. So if you are considering either getting a collector's like sleeve book or getting individual sleeves, make sure you purchase ones that are slightly greater than the dimensions. So get a set that has like a 2.75 by 3.75 minimum sleeve holder. That way there's a little bit of wiggle room because the cards are exactly those dimensions. And also since the embossing is raised, it does increase the width of the card so it won't fit in certain sleeves. So just be careful if you're gonna put it in sleeves. Um, also for every single lino print, it will still have a certificate of authenticity, which um, is basically a little sheet of paper that says that, oh yeah, Peason made this. I did not have a chance to order cardstock versions of those certificates, so if you are ordering in the next two weeks, you're going to get like a, a copy piece of paper. Um, because I was trying to order um, like insert cards that would be 2.5 by 3.5. But the only thing that I could find was business cards. And every single fucking person who tries to sell business cards will charge you a minimum of like $40. And that is not in the budget. So, yeah. Um, Ethan... If you're feeling nauseous, call EMT. Otherwise, I hope you're doing okay. And put a mask on. <laughs> Wait, this is a business stream. I can't be making jokes. Okay, okay. And then also, <laughs> what's EMT? Emergency medical technician. So like, you know, the ambulance. Cool art, thank you. Ethan, if you use your channel points, you can win it for free today. Ain't no way. Okay, delivery. Important note. Since these are small enough to fit in a letter envelope, these can be shipped for free. Ain't no way. So, if you do order these, they will arrive in a regular standard letter envelope. But, there will be no tracking number because, I mean, you can put a tracking number on an envelope, but, like, it's kind of not worth it because it takes far less time to process than a, um, than a, what you call it, than, like, a package package. Also, the gift card giveaway is U.S. only. I'm sorry, Ethan. But you can still win the art. Only one entry per person? Yeah, we can't stuff the ballots here. Um, as always, I have the product or image descriptions, so that way people who are either visually impaired or to, like, understand the light differences. But yeah. So more specifics. The descriptions are basically the same for every one of these card listings. Okay, now to the actual blog post. So if you have my bookmark website... If you have my webs, dude, I cannot talk. I hate my speech impediment. <laughs> okay, wait, I forgot to tell you guys. Parasocial news. I literally forgot to say it at the start of stream, guys. Huge news. I am on track for my New Year's resolution. So one of my New Year's resolution was to lose 40 pounds this year. And let me just say, I'm like halfway there. I'm halfway there. It's crazy. Or a little less than half. But even huger news. Now, I don't usually show my entire body on stream. It's very rare. Where you guys can maybe assume my weight. 
But don't do not put your guesses in chat like ever. That's just rude. But for the first time in over a year and a half, I am finally below two hundred pounds. It's crazy. I I know I don't. I, do I look two hundred? <laughs> Don't answer. Don't answer. But, sorry. I'm sorry. But, like, I was stuck at over 200 for about a year and a half. And yesterday, I went to the doctors. And I was finally a little bit under. But finally under 200. And I literally almost cried. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. And the nurse was hyping me up, too. She's like, oh, my God, I'm so happy for you. I'm like, oh, my God, yeah. But, yeah, so, yeah. A little bit of parasocial news. Oh, yeah, because I, I had to go to the doctor last minute yesterday because they called me on on Wednesday and they're like, oh, Peason, actually, we have to cancel your doctor's appointment that you've been waiting months for. So, like, you can either do it, like, fucking tomorrow, Thursday, or, like, next month. And I was like, what the fuck? So I had to go last minute yesterday. Anyway. They said my speech impediment is normal for my brain condition. I just can't, like, if I start speaking, like, really stupid, then it's a concern. <laughs> I had to get a medical, and they weighed me, but it didn't bother me because it was in kilograms. Oh, my God, that's so funny. Okay. What even, I don't even know what the conversion is for kg or pounds. All I know is that kilograms is far less than, like, pounds. Wait, ain't no way! I just got an email from Twitch.tv, and you got- Wait, am I allowed to share this? <laughs> wait. I don't know if I can share this. Wait, wait, I need- sorry. I need to- I don't know if Twitch tweeted this out yet. I don't know if I can, like- Because, <laughs> like, since I'm an affiliate, I do get, like, promotional- Oh, wait, okay, they did tweet it out. Guys? You can get a free Apple TV Plus subscription whenever you get a new Tier 1 subscription or a gift sub between July 30th and August 19th. Oh my god, guys, Tier 1 right now. Ain't no way. Holy moly. Holy shit. Sorry, I just got that email. Guys, subscribe now. Okay. Is it a Canva? No. It's not a Canva. It's a Twitch promo. Okay, anyway. So, if you go to the blog section, occasionally I'll make little posts. But, I did make a little post doing a little deep dive of today's launch. Dude, I feel so bad for the editor who has to look at this stream later. I'm kidding, this is not going to be edited. Guys, you were here. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this because I really was yapping. But, my first time ever making embossed prints. So, in this post, I go a little bit into the actual inspiration for this specific line, or collection. Getting my ideas out. I also posted the in-progress sketches, which I did. I did show on stream, but just a little bit of a higher def picture. With no color correction either. So, just a brief little overview. Um, stained glass... Now, I want you guys to think, put your guesses or ponders in chat. Where do you see stained glass? Where do you see it? Because stained glass has become more and more obsolete because obviously consumerism makes us all want cheaper things. And then also, um, in turn, with the increase of like mass production and just um, industrialization in, in general, it's a lot easier to make glass. Church, church, churches at the end of Shrek 1. <laughs> you know what's actually really funny? I showed the rose. I showed the rose print to my roommate, and he said, oh my god, that's the opening for Shrek. Yeah, see? You guys made the same connect. That's so funny. I'll have to screenshot that. That's actually hilarious. That's exactly what he said, too. Okay, so anyway. So, you, yeah, you typically will see stained glass in churches. So a little bit of art history for you guys. Which I'm debating, I might do like a full length PowerPoint stream just talking about glass. It's seriously so interesting. So, stained glass originated, it's theorized in different areas. 
boys. Um, but there's different historians that say it originated in Europe, and then there's other, another group that say, say stained glass originated in Egypt. But either way, they both conclude that stained glass originated in areas where um, people would blow glass beads, which supports the Egypt theory. But anyway... So the styles of stained glass have changed changed over the years, along with the means of making stained glass. Traditionally, it's made by um, just regular blown glass, so like blowing glass through a tube, and then they make it flat. But now they can make it with rollers and machines. So, obviously, this is not glass. So why did I choose to make a series inspired by stained glass into stamps? And I'll answer that. So stained glass is made by cutting up smaller pieces of glass and then wrapping the edges with thin metal and then soldering it with metal to bite it together. <laughs> like, dude, this is a business stream. You can't be saying shit like that. How do I ban you? How do I ban you? Warn. No vulgar jokes. Oh, it doesn't delete your messages. Shit. <laughs> wait, exclamation peace out. Wait, I think that wait, I'll add that command. We'll make it the we'll make that the new vanish command. Thank you, Tooth. Okay, boys. <laughs> Vod watchers, it's like the Ludwig song playing now. So why did I make a stained glass series with stamps? I'll answer that. So, stained glass is made from soldering pieces of glass together with metal. Now, if you do a little simple Google search and you look up stained glass, you'll see a lot of modern stained glass. So, a lot of older traditional stained glass is made by soldering lead, which a lot of modern stained glass does not use. They'll typically use um, copper now, which is a lot less toxic. Yay, but still a lot of traditional glass studios that still are in existence I know there's some in the Tacoma area. They still will use lead. Oh! Oh, no! But yeah. So, since the actual, like, you could say form and silhouette of stained glass is, you could say line art of the soldered metal, and then the fill would be the color. So, if you're looking at a stamp, it kind of makes sense. Because the pieces you carve out would be the glass, and then the pieces you leave would be the soldered metal. I was also considering making like paper cuts and using vellum, which is a semi-transparent paper, which is made from plant fibers, but then I was like, nah, maybe another day. I don't want to nick my fingers and slice them up just yet. With the paper cutter not on purpose, to which death. So I decided to go with stamps, and I was able to carve some of the stamps on, on stream, and by some, I mean one. <laughs> And the rest I carved offline. So stamp carving, I think, is one of the easier mediums to get into. It doesn't require... Okay, it requires some level of precision, obviously. But, you know, I used to carve stamps when I was, like, fucking nine years old. And my stamps were pretty good on God on God. And at this point, I didn't, like, sat down and carved a stamp in, like, five years. The last time I carved a stamp, like, for real was for my mom, and she just wanted me to carve her name so she didn't have to, like, sign papers. No! It was, like, like fun papers, not, like, actual documents. <laughs> I would never force her signature with a stamp. Ain't no way. <laughs> so it, it had been a, year, a few years since I, like, sat down and carved. But it was weird, because, like, the process itself was kind of meditative, because whenever you do any form of art, that's why um, therapists are usually a huge advocate for art therapy, it's because you have to be dialed in, you have to be locked in and focused, and it's very hard to, like, think about anything else. I know when I was carving the stamps, like, offline, like, off stream, I wasn't listening to music, I wasn't watching videos, like, I was just focusing. It's honestly a really nice process. Stamp carving is not necessarily a super expensive hobby when compared to, like, other things like knitting. Guys, do not touch fucking knitting. Yarn is expensive. It's not worth it. R equals Zaza. No. <laughs> Can you use a nail Dremel? I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm just going to look up what a Dremel is. I think I know what you're talking about. You can also use a horse needle. Which is like a regular human needle, but the hole is bigger. But with the horse needles, it's a lot harder. It's regular just to get 
it's better to just get regular carving tools like the go-to brand is speedball but um you can also just you can order custom metal tips that fit in a speedball holder a nail dremel um i don't know you you there are some tips that oh i have a nail dremel actually but it's for sanding uh you can use it but it will not work as well it will not because like you, whenever you get a carving tip it has to have somewhat of a sharp serrated or not serrated uh what's it called placided no it has to have a sharp edge that way you can like carve into the rubber you you don't stab into it you kind of like glide as you carve in like remember that one scene in surfs up where he's carving the surfboard and he's using the clam to like carve it out it has to be a tool that has a sharp edge and then is also hollow that way you can like glide through the rubber Anyway, if you want to get into stamp carving, also, I just saw you try to say a bad word. Spartan, you're on thin ice. If you want to get into stamp carving, it's one of the lower price point art hobbies to get into because, yeah, the material is expensive, but the tools aren't expensive if you're going to carve a lot of stamps, is what I'll say. So, yeah, I carved the stamps, and not going to lie, I was really proud of myself because I didn't fuck up a single one. I didn't mess up a single stamp. I was so happy. Because whenever you make a lino print, like, if you're looking at the regular black and white, black and white print, like, if you made a nick here on the border, it would be so noticeable. It would stick out so much, and I would have to throw it away. But I didn't make a single mistake. I got really close a few times. But all the stamps literally came out perfect. A thin ice joke after a penguin movie reference that's top tier. You know, I've been saying this for years. I think I should be... I'm like the world's best indie streamer. Tap one if you agree. Guys, vote Hidden Gem, Peace and Underscore 17 for the 2024 Streamer Awards. Please. Okay, and then the final part, embossing. Now, before anybody chirps, Twitch Def as well, the white powder on screen is embossing powder. It is not Drugo's. It is embossing powder. So embossing refers to any raised or indented texture on paper. So you typically will see embossing on like greeting cards or business cards. It's where you can feel like a raised surface on top of a paper plane. So there are different ways to emboss. You can either use a um, embossing tool, which is like a metal tool that has a very small ball at the end. That way when you like kind of draw and slightly press into your paper, it leaves an indentation. I didn't add the command yet, Yago. I didn't add it. <laughs> also, VOD watchers, I know you can't see the command, but people are typing exclamation point peace out instead of vanish, which is honestly such a good bit. Okay, so the main way to emboss is by pressing with a metal tool into paper. You can do that by either machine or by hand. There's also ways to where you can see like embossing mixed with foils. So you'll see like a raised surface and then they'll put like gold or silver foil on it. And then the method that I used is with embossing powder. So embossing powder is made with plastic or polymers, sometimes resin. So that way, whenever it's heat treated, it melts together. And that's how you get a really clean embossing that you don't have to make an indentation on. Like, the back of the card is completely flat versus where the front, it has the raised black texture. I'm in school again? Bruh, how many doctorates do you need? Or not doctorates. What's it called when you get, like, additional degrees? A waste of money? <laughs> you know it's not a waste of money? The art prints. Guys, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Okay, so I embossed some of the prints on stream, but we had to end early because my camera died. Oopsie. But genuinely, embossing with the powder method is really, mind my language, freaking difficult. It's genuinely really hard <laughs> because first you have to stamp your regular dye ink. So you can use either pigment or dye ink for any non-crafters in chat. Dye ink is where it's like liquid ink. Um, sorry. Pigment ink is still liquid ink, but it has light color pigments mixed into it. So it kind of has a texture of like a really, 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 really thin paint. 
versus a dye ink where it's like the texture of water. So whenever both of these dyes are wet, you can still adhere embossing powder to it. As you can see in the picture, I'm kind of like shaking over my little jar of powder on top of the ink that's wet. And since the ink is not adhesive, because dye or pigment ink does not have glue in it, you cannot brush it off with a brush because then you'll dust off your you'll brush off your powder. So you just have to tap your paper on your table and then it'll fall off naturally. And then you get a heat gun and then you heat set it. You can also use a hair dryer, but a hair dryer has like too much surface area and you'll probably blow powder everywhere, like not in the fun way. So yeah. This whole line of lino prints was challenging. It may not look like it. It look it may look very simple to someone who's a non-crafter, but if you're a crafter, you fucking know the struggle. Embossing is really hard. It's very easy to see if you make a botched print in the actual final. <laughs> What's the fun way of blowing powder? Fireworks, of course. What else do you think I would be talking about? Yeah, see, the, these are more close-ups of it. And you can see, can you see it on camera? Yeah. You can see in this image of the iris, like the light is hitting it from the right side, so you can see it has that gloss reflection to it. Yeah, what do you guys think? Rate it out of 10. I know that explanation was all over the place, but let's be honest, is that not a piece in stream? You know what I mean? I had to walk fucking two miles yesterday. To, like, catch a connecting bus because my doctor was out of town. My knees hurt. Okay. Okay. Now. Let's actually color one. Okay. Thank you guys for answering. Who would consider purchasing one? You can be honest. And as you guys know, if you're a current Twitch subscriber, you do get a $17 discount one time only. And if you use code TWITCH10, you get $10 off today. Yeah, I looked it up. I don't take your country's currency. I'm sorry, Tooth. I will try to look into, because I think my Shopify account... Because as the shop owner, you decide which countries you take currency from. There are some countries that, like, I can ban, and then some... There's, like... I think there's, like, 20 more than I can enable. I can check again tonight. Because the main concern is obviously, like, the currency conversion. It does charge me a fee. Oh! But... Yeah. I can double check later, too, to see if your country is available for my my shop later. Because the only real demerit is that, like, it affects my, like, accounting, but that's fine. Also, guys, we're an hour into stream. You know the drill. Click subscribe right now, and I will say thank you. But we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. Avoid those ads by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch, you can subscribe for free. Okay, so now, we'll probably stream for like another 30 minutes. That way, if other people want to enter the giveaway, you can enter. I'm going to double check how many entries we have right now. The whole shipping thing would be costly no the cool thing whenever i mail a letter envelope for even foreign countries it only costs two dollars that's why for all of the lino prints free shipping but for paintings yeah the sh shipping would be a lot to any foreign country unfortunately okay right now we have four people who entered the art card giveaway two of which do not live in the states so i will give you a refund on those and then we have three people who entered the art giveaway. If you win the art giveaway, you win the entire line. So you get four prints for free. Non hollow, of course. 
Oh. I'm not in a foreign country. Oh. As long as, like, I was looking at the countries that I could not mail to because I use um, the United States Postal Service, and there's only, like, five. And you know what? I'll say it. They're anti-woke. <laughs> okay. Now, as I said earlier, I did say that if individuals do choose to purchase the regular black and white embossed print, they can color it themselves. So you know what? How about I color one today for you guys? Whoa, zoom in. Okay. You know how people do those art trends where they um they do black and white canvas and then they or they get their color palette and then they turn their iPad to black and white and then they color? We can kind of do something like that. So I'll color different parts and then you guys can pick the color. What color should I do the main petals? It can be any color. I literally have so many colors. We could do like inverse colors. I also kind of want to try to use a blending pen. So I use Tombos to color most of these. And Tombow has the number 00, which is just a clear ink pen. It's water-based. So, you can use it to blend. What color is it normally? Oh. I mean, irises can be, like, a multitude of different colors, but my favorite is purple. It looks pink on camera, but I promise it's purple. Oh, this is the botched hollow. It's still hollow, but... I was testing different methods of applying the varnish, and this one was just brushing on varnish versus gloping it on. And you can see here, I glooped on too much on right here and right here. This one is, I'm gonna throw this one away. <laughs> Desaforna tu da mente. Wait, I did do my Duolingo yesterday, oh thank God. You know what, let's make the flower green. I'm going to show how to blend. So I'm putting down a light green. Doing short, quick strokes with a dark green. To give it the kind of feathery look that irises typically have. And now we can blend. Clean. Look how clean that is. So when you're blending Tombos, I typically will start on the end that has the darker color. That way, because this pen will lift up color. You can kind of see the tip is a little bit green now. Because the Tombow will drag pigment, pigment across your paper or your plane. So if you usually start on the end with a darker color it'll drag the darker pigments across the lighter sections now to explain the reason why i chose to do black colors in the actual ones for sale and not shaded colors the reason why is because it's supposed to look like stained glass stained glass does not have ombre or shaded colors stained glass is typically as matte of a color as they can get or a consistent shade throughout the entire sheet of glass. There are some different glass patterns, like you might see speckled, you might see some that are air bubbles. There are some that they do get marbling, but those are very rarely naturally occurring. Okay, 
I'm not gonna say this out loud, Clippers. You're not gonna get me. But to clean the brush, all you have to do is simply brush it against a clean piece of paper until you no longer see the color of pigment appear. Like, it still may look discolored on the actual pen, but as long as it's not spreading more pigment around, then it's clean. Okay, let's blend this a little bit more. Adding more dark green down. See how when I put one stroke of the dark green, how opaque it is compared to the the blended ombre section? Probably adding some yellow will be good. Oh, that's not the blending pen. Okay. Definitely, I am planning on releasing normal, like, ink and pen illustrations that will be more rendered. I assume it only works with freshly added marker. It depends on what type of marker you're using. So, Tombow's are water-based, acid-free, not sponsored. So, that means whenever you add ink on top of it that is also water-based, it'll kind of blend. So if you're using the clear marker, it'll still blend. Like even if you applied the ink a week ago and then you tried to blend it, it would still blend because it would still activate with water. It would not blend if you're using a dye-based ink, which is where the pigments get more further absorbed into the paper. So like an India ink or a Sharpie ink, yeah, it'll fade, but it won't smear with water. Yeah, to explain. Guys! Exclamation point shop and chat. Use code TWITCH10 for $10 off. Also, if you make a purchase of the cards today, you get a free holographic print from me. Ain't no way. And let me just say, the holographics are bussin' on God on God. I wish you could see the hollow in person. I swear to God. It has the green to yellow. It's just the camera doesn't pick it up because it fucking sucks. I promise on everything in my life, it has the hollow. It has the same hollow um, color combination as the circuit board painting, the green to yellow. Okay, let's keep coloring. That's a beautiful card, I know. I, I showed this one to my sister this morning and she's like, oh my god, you should make them all like that. And I was like, no. I want people to do gotchas. Okay. So that's how to color in with ombre. Now, something you guys may not think about often is that there are different ways to color. When people think of coloring, they think of like color, pencil, marker, and just solid fill. But there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can color. Because to me, coloring just means filling in a space. So a method that I used to do all the time in school as like, kind of like a zen doodly thing, is I would use bubbles. So just drawing circles to kind of fill in the space. I'm using a fine tip. This is the tan mitt dual tip pen, the fine point tip. So I would do just circles, bubbles, and then I would fill in the line art that I did for bubbles with a lighter shade of the color. So I'll have to fill this in with like a very light, faint red or pink.
Okay, I'm also not going to say this out loud. <laughs> so now I'm going to fill in with a lighter shade of the color I just used. It's kind of like a light orangey scarlet -y. Anybody else read the Scarlet Letter in school? So I filled in the rest of the negative space with just like a lighter shade. And see how even if the shades are very close in hue, like actual color, it gives it a whole different look and texture. It looks kind of scaly, you know what I mean? So that's another way to color. Probably the most common, like what you learn, like first day in art class, cross hatching. So cross hatching or no. There's line and then also cross hatching. Cross hatching is where you have overlapping lines, like a checkerboard, imagine. And then line is just where, depending on how close or far away you place your lines, the darker or lighter something looks. So even if this section isn't fully colored in with blue, since the lines near the this end are closer together, it looks opaque. And then as it goes further out, it looks lighter. So like if I zoom the camera back out, it looks a bit different. Similar thing when you're doing cross hatching. Cross hatching people typically don't use in the whole like section they're coloring in. They'll only do cross hatching basically where they want their shadows to be. Cross hatching is a method you will see in order to artificially shade in stamps or lino prints, but to me they look a bit messy. It's not necessarily my favorite way to shade. I love how this is turning into like a free art class. Guys, I'm sorry, but you owe me a hundred dollars by the end of stream. So for that section, I did cross hatching. So the sections that have more overlapping lines look darker. So if I were to add sections without any overlapping lines, It would be darker, but not as dark. So it's a way to shade if you don't have like a grayscale tool, like a pencil or lead. You said everything art should be free. No, I did not say that. If I said that shit, then you'd hear me preaching about AI. Oh, wait, no, I think I know what you're joking about. You're joking about how like we don't fund art huge difference okay how else can you color oh another way you can fill in some spaces So like this is kind of like giving de Zen Doodle, right? Zen Doodle is the method in which you just try to fill empty space with a bunch of patterns and like doodly forms. Another thing I would do, and this was just to practice my like line art. is do rings. Oh, I did it in yellow. <laughs> is do like interior rings. So it kind of gives it like a more geometric kind of mosaic-y look. Mosaic-y? Mosaic-y? Zendaya? 
How else can you color? We can probably just do regular Zen Doodle. I know the colors ain't matching, but that's whatever. Oh no, this pen's dying. No! No! New pen. A classic Zen Doodle you'll see is the fish scales. Classic. The scale is where you're doing three to four rounded strokes with a slight overlap. So that way, altogether, they look like fish scales. Clean. Drop the pen. And if you want to go crazy, you could do a similar thing with the bubble. Color it in, color it in with a lighter color. Very subtle texture, but it's not fully opaque, so it gives it like a slight more elevated look. Show me how you color. Okay. Now, out of all these textures, whether ombre, scale, I don't know what to call this one. Inner borders, crosshatch, bubbles, or lines. Which you guys think looks the best? And I'll do a full card in that style. Just for fun. So to repeat. Ombre. Scales. Interior shape. Crosshatch, bubbles, or lines. Because I think doing like a full empty card... In either style would look kind of cool. I like the first one. I was literally just going to say, if you pick ombre, you're basic. But you know what? We'll do ombre. <laughs> They're all pretty. Mm. I think the one that would look the most interesting would be lines. It lines on top of lines. Lines on lines on lines. Okay, so I'm going to do this full card and ombre. Let's see how long it takes. We're at 120 uptime. And I'm going to do cute colors. Now, when you're coloring, make sure you always start with your lighter colors first. Because you don't want to pick up a darker pigment accidentally on your lighter markers. And also, a problem I did notice when coloring with the embossed prints versus a dye ink is that since the actual embossing is plastic, it's water resistant. So, if I were to accidentally miss the line and draw on top of the embossing I could easily smear because it would still not dry on the plastic part and then also like if I ran my marker tip over again it would more easily smear so if you're gonna color at home with your embossed print be mindful of that like it is a lot easier to color within the lines but if you do color outside just kind of dab it with a paper towel or your finger to kind of get the excess um liquid ink off of the borders that are plastic Okay, somebody got auto modded. <laughs> and we're denying that because you try to say bitch in the chat. <laughs> okay, so I think for the background of this one, I'll do yellow going into like an orangey. So first we're going to place down the yellow. 
Now, since I'm doing an ombre color again, I don't have to fill it in completely because the blending pen will basically fill in any remaining negative space. This card is going to take a hot minute. Blending takes a lot of time. You also can't blend too much because the only demerit to using the Tombow blending pen is that the actual... I miscolored shit. It's fine. Nobody tell anybody. Um, the actual bristle on the blending Tombow pen is slightly harder. So it's very easy to tear into the fibers of your paper if you're a bit too aggressive when you're blending. Because if you press too hard with your Tombow pen when you're blending, it's kind of like when you erase too hard on your paper and then you tear it up. You have to be very gentle when you're blending with your Tombows. What's for dinner? I don't know yet. Smile. But it's either going to be meatballs. There's one more thing. Chicken. Or... There's one more thing I have groceries for. Soup! But, like, it's a bit hotter today, so I don't think I'll make the soup today. Plus, I forgot the soup that I found the recipe for. It takes, like, four hours. <laughs> so, uh, it's, like, too... I should have started the... If I was gonna make soup, I should have started it earlier. <laughs> Uh, guys, go to the website and buy a print now and you'll get an exclusive hollow for free. I think the recipe I found is for, like, a chicken and dumpling soup. Soup filled meatballs? That would be, I think, too much. To be honest. Wait, Kim, you scammed yourself! <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at your order. You bought four singles. Oh, do you want, like, the hollow? You want a chance to get another hollow, you psycho? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... For context, um, whenever you buy the four set, you do not get a hollow, but whenever you buy the single card prints, you have a 10% chance of getting a hollow. Yeah, imagine she pulls four hollows. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be crazy. Okay, and now I need to find a dark, dark orange. Yeah, look at that. Even without blending, you can visually see the ombre that I'm building. Is this Mario Winter music? No, it's Pokemon. What am I saying? Anyway, back to work. Okay, it's been five minutes of coloring so far. Coloring takes forever, y'all. And I have to be extremely careful to not color outside the lines that I'm not blending. Because whenever you do color, you can't, like, take it out of the paper. It's not like you can erase or anything. That's genuinely why I think a lot of, like, normie people like coloring books. It doesn't require a lot of, like, traditional art skill, and it takes more focus. Yeah, I have my three oranges down. Light, medium, dark, now we blend. Oh, I gotta clean the... I still have green on there. I'll clean. Mm. 
pulling my darker colors out towards the center. Fully blended versus just regular color. I colored outside the lines there. Oopsie. So... How are you guys doing today, huh? It's giving candy corn? <laughs> Stop. I was gonna say, you guys picked orange, but no, I picked the orange, I remember. <laughs> you know, I'll say it, candy cane is the worst candy. Seriously, whoever made it should be, like, fined for all the disappointment that I had whenever I received candy corns instead of actual candy. What should we do for Halloween this year? Should we do another NPC stream? <laughs> Does anybody still do NPC streams on TikTok? Because back when I did it in October, like, the trend was already dying. And if you missed that stream, there is a YouTube video. It's under the playlist Peace and Pick if you don't want to search it. Shit, I just realized I have to... I have to edit tomorrow's YouTube video. Fuck! Tomorrow's YouTube video will be the chess one. I'm like halfway done with the edit. Whoa, that ombre looks crazy on camera. Editor is slacking. I know, for real, for real. But you know, they're kind of on like... Unpaid family leave. Their grandma died. So you know, you gotta give them some slack. <laughs> what I had to say it. I'm cleaning the brush off camera. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, now that the inner part is colored. Are iris are irises red? I really struggle with my R's. Well, that was nine minutes of coloring, guys. Now you see why the prints are fucking twelve dollars each. Okay, red iris. Oh, there are red irises. There's some scarlet and then some deep red. Probably some scarlet blended with deep red would be nice. I can't wait to show this to my sister and be like, this butch took an hour. One dollar per card. I spit in your face. <laughs> now, I was talking to my sister because I'm trying to, like, convince her to, like, start drawing and making her own art. Like, just for fun and also potentially to sell. I did tell her I would give her a decent contract if she sold on my website. You know, I would just take, like, a 50% cut, you know. No, I, I told her like 2% service fee. <laughs> but she doesn't understand the value of money sometimes. Because she can probably hear me in the other room. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh my god, hi Vic. Can we get some yos? Hello. Oh my god, is that a tier 2 sub in the chat? Dust off the nice table where we're getting fancy. Hi, Vic. Hmm. 
This is giving lava. Tier two always. Ain't no way. Thank you for the tier two for 13 months. Holy shit. Thank you, Vic. Can we get some Wix in chat? Not the Wix brand, but thank you, Vic. Okay, the red irises I saw on Google did not have, like, different colored tops. They're just all red. You know what? I'll say it. The next person to place an order today gets this card for free, too. Why not? Fuck it. Or wait, no, wait, should we, should we do channel points? Because I don't want to be a classist. How we all doing? Okay. Don't make a dead grandma joke. Don't make a dead grandma joke. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Dude, I was watching back the Mario Kart VOD I did the other day. Dude, I was wildin'. I was going crazy. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You know, she was like 97. One dollar to the grandma jar? No, I'm gonna be broke. Okay, the next flammy member that dies will make a money jar. I only got like six left. Moving on. <laughs> it's how I cope. I let my sister use my markers. She put them in the wrong spot. That jerk. Okay, now we're gonna add dark red. Or you know what? Nobody in chat will get this colored card. I'm gonna give it to my sister. And I'll make her pay me a dollar. <laughs> I'm gonna add a single line of dark, dark red on the very edge. I was just about to place an order though. Wait, no! Next person to place an order gets this card. I was kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. No, but like if you're joking, whatever. But like if you're not joking, if you use code Twitch10, you get $10 off. I do think there's a purchase minimum though. So there is a better secret code that's on the website though. You have to find it. I don't know what color I use there. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> Ten dollars off a twelve dollar purchase, guys. Peace in stocks. Down. <laughs> now nah, the way you see it, you know, for the people who do chose choose to support me, why not give them a discount? Why not? If you're going to take the time out of your day to, like, even go to the website and take a peek, it's fine. Because when it comes to, like, art or whenever you're trying to do any startup, word of mouth is the best way to go. Wait, Vic, you have a business degree. I need counseling. For free, please. 
How, no, white color does not the line. How do I get more sales? Do social media, obviously. But then AI is bad and stinky. That doesn't sound like a good business deal on my end. Free work. Wait, you're so smart. You're so smart. Did you get an order? Uh, not yet. You're making me feel bad? You should feel bad for, like, lying. You lying about placing an art shop order is, about, like, the equivalent of lying about donating ch to charity. <laughs> It's the equivalent of lying that you donated to charity, because I'm just a charity case. You're lying? Did I really get another one? You're lying. Oh my god, I didn't get the noti. <laughs> Can't be okay, guys. Wait, where's the alert? Ain't no way we got another order. Oh my god. Thank you. Another order from Kim. <laughs> Kim, are you just like trying to hack to get every single hollow? But you know what? You'll also get this colored print too, because I will never lie. But thank you, Kim. Wait, that's like plus two transactions. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say earlier. I was like, a good way to hack and unlock another gift card for chat is if somebody just does five transactions. She's selling them on eBay. Kim, I'm not even fucking kidding. If you try to scalp these, you're banned forever. And I'm also gonna ban Mac. I got a card for Mac. Oh, that's so cute. I wish I had a girlfriend. <laughs> no, I don't need the drama. I'm cleaning my marker. No, but, like, for real, if I had a GF or BF or NBF, I would give them presents all the time. Oh, it's shipping to their address? Oh, okay, I can't look at that till I'm on my computer. It's a surprise? Okay. I won't say anything. I won't. This card looks crazy. Okay, it's been 20 minutes of coloring this card. This is now worth at least $15 in labor. Okay, what color? Obviously, the stem is green. Like, duh. Wait, oh my god, the fire flower from Mario. I don't think the stem needs shading. For the border, I think yellow squares and black rectangles would go crazy. Uh, guys, just a reminder. Wait, Kim, so that means you get Two extra hollows. Wait, I'm scamming myself. <laughs> I'm kind of scared for the day whenever, like, my art sells to somebody who doesn't watch the stream. Like, someone who just likes the art. And now... And, like, they don't watch Twitch. That'd be so weird to me. No, I'll give you two. It's fine. I was kidding. I need to practice making the hollows anyway, because, like, they're genuinely really fucking difficult to make. You can't- Okay, so this is, like, the perfect hollow. I still don't want to send this one out, because it has, like, two bubbles on it, like, right here. You can't see it, but it has a bubble here, a bubble- I'm gonna send this one to Emmy. 
She gets the botched one. Don't tell her. <laughs> but, like, I showed you guys this one. I, I put too much hollow here and here. Oopsie. And this one, I did the paintbrush method instead of gooping. And you can see the sheen isn't as, like, crisp or clean. Like, it's not one solid wave. It looks kind of broken. That's because I did smaller brush strokes. I love being the tester. Thank you. You know, at least the fucking checkout worked this time. <laughs> I remember Mac tried to buy a painting and I didn't set up the shipping right, so like it didn't work. And then also Mac, the their their painting got to them fine, but they accidentally put their city and state twice in their address. I genuinely thought my shipping label was fucked, so I went to the USPS and like, oh no, it's fine. People do that all the time. I was like, thank God, because like I couldn't cancel or like remake the shipping label because I already bought it. Honestly, my L for not double checking the address. Okay, now I'm gonna try and do a radial shading. Just to reemphasize with labor costs for the for my art pieces, like for the website, I'm not making I'm not charging minimum wage. I'm not gonna scam myself. Also, there will come a point, probably, where I won't make every piece of art that is sold, in the sense of I would have a team of people. This is if I'm having, like, hundreds of transactions a month. Because, like, even professional artists have people who color mix, people who make their paintings for them, but it's, like, indicated that the artists did not make it themselves. But, yeah. That's why most of my prints or painting processes are streamlined. That way, obviously, I would try to make as much as I can. But then if I don't have the physical ability, then I could have, like, staff make it. Okay, so I did the squares. I do think a black border would be nice. So I'm going to start with gray, not black. Because whenever you put a dark pigment down, you cannot take it back up. So I'm going to try and do a similar radial gradient, but I'm only going to be putting the darker stroke on the outer edges of the rectangles. That way I can just blend towards the center. I'm not necessarily going to do lino prints that are in this similar style of just line art. I will branch off into like the cross hatching or pointillism at some point. But for anybody who's interested, what type of other like subject matter for illustrations would you guys like to see? Like objects, people, what do you want to see? Because you know, flowers are kind of girly.
What happened to your art channel? Oh, I still stream on the art channel. It's just we're doing the launch on this channel because I have more clout on this channel. I like flowers and I'm a man. Giga Chad. I don't know. I think it's funny to make the jokes about, like, I don't play boy games. <laughs> That's my new favorite joke. Because my sister is um playing through the Call of Duty games, like, with our roommate. So, like, I'll walk into the room and my sister will be like, because she'll always ask if I want to play. Because, you know, she's trying to be nice. But then I'm like, I don't play boy games. And then I, like, stomp out of the room. <laughs> I think it's such a funny bit. But I, I will stream on the art channel whenever I do have a painting order. And then whenever, like, I want to start working on a, a longer project. Because I think for now, I still need to keep prioritizing my mainstream channel. Like, for that way I can get YouTube videos out and stuff. Barbie games are the best boy games. On God, on God. Did anybody ever play Pixie Hollow when they were younger? That was my favorite RPG. Be honest, should I make the border darker? I kind of like the light gray, but I'd be fine if it was darker. What do you guys think? Oh wait, Kim, you're actually getting this card? You pick. I'm ignoring everyone else. Should I make it darker? I also played Club Penguin. I remember when everything wasn't premium. And then I also remember when they closed Club Penguin down. Is Q like that? Okay. Stop your timers? That took... We started at 120. That took 30 minutes. So that means this is worth $15 in labor just for coloring. So then that would mean... This would be a $25 card. If, like, I were to sell fully rendered like this. Who would... Okay, be honest. Would you pay $25? That's, like, too much. That's why I didn't offer fully shaded. I'm only gonna offer, like, fully shaded renderings for, like, larger prints. I think that makes sense. But, like, something small like this, it doesn't need to be fully rendered. Yes? Well, you're a simp. I'm sorry, but, like, let's be honest. You bought two... You you did two transactions just so you could get two hollows. Like, you're a sucker. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Flippers, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my pens away. And then we shall do the giveaway. Guys, this is your last chance. If you want a chance to get store gift cards for my shop. Or to win the entire line of Lino prints for free. Enter now with your channel points. Do it now. Yeah, I know. I'm messing with you, Kim. I'm messing. Wait, Kim, did you enter the art giveaway? <laughs> I need to see who entered. Guys, enter right now. This is your last chance. Wait, Kim, you also entered the art giveaway. I guess if you win, you could choose the black and white set. That way you can color it. I was just going to refund you, but nah. You can double up. Well, that one's colored. 
Once again, this one goes to Kim because I said whoever makes the next purchase gets it, and Kim made a next purchase. Well, guys, the pinnacle, the peak of today, as a thank you for you all who do choose to support and watch the streams, this is for you. I know art isn't my main focus, but I definitely want it to be like one of the pillars of what I'm working on. You know, I have an art degree, I should use it. So just a reminder, if you want a chance, or if you want to purchase the art that was launched today, which was the the line of colored lino prints. Okay, it looks super washed out on camera, but it's a bit darker in person. Or if you want to get the line colored ones, go to peaceandart.myshopify.com and click on the shop section. Help support an independent streamer and artist. But you know what? This is for the brokies. This is for those who watch the stream. This is for those who still want to support. And you know what? I love giving back to my community. So, this is your last chance. Audio listeners, this is your last chance to enter the giveaway. Use your channel points in the bottom of your chat box. You can either get the entire line. You can use either the colored or the black and white version of the four lino prints that are available. Or, if you are in the U.S. only, only... You can get a store credit for $10. I will give you guys one more minute. One more minute to enter. This is your last call. Not gonna lie, I was waiting for you to enter, Vic. <laughs> I was stalling for you. Because I know you're not paying attention. You're like playing Minecraft or something. But like, I'm, I'm saying that in like a friendly way. <laughs> Thank you, of course. Of course. Okay. Now, bigger question, should we do the gift card or the art giveaway first? I think the art giveaway is more hype, right? I'm literally playing Minecraft. See, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, also, just to confirm, you have to be in chat to win, so do not click off of the stream. Okay, well, <laughs> you guys want to see something funny? I'm setting up the, the wheel right now. Also, if we hit five sales, we do another giveaway. Do we have any more US viewers? Can we get more US viewers to enter the gift card giveaway, please? Please? I'm not going to say why, but like we need more American people. <laughs> <laughs> oh you guys are so cute that's not how we do channel points here <laughs> we didn't we probably didn't only have two people right uh <laughs> i mean you'll see you'll see you'll see you'll see you'll see I'm copying and pasting names right now. You'll see. <laughs> okay. I am now... We'll do the art giveaway last because that's more hype. I have entered the names. Put me in, coach. Wait, Mac. Mac, redeem now. Redeem now. I'm hitting my table. Redeem now, Mac. <laughs> Dude, you came in right on time. <laughs> And Mac, you can, since you're NA, you can also enter the art giveaway too. Enter them both. We need more entries. <laughs> I'm not a sub anymore. Imagine not being a peace and sub. This is so funny. No, this is peak peace and content. You guys are sliding in just for the giveaway part of stream. You guys are all fake fans. Thank you, Mac. Like, for real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Also, if we hit three more sales, I'll give away another gift card. <laughs> okay. 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 And if you make a purchase today, you get a hollow. Okay. Now. Now that we have enough entries. 
I hate being a small streamer for this reason. <laughs> but honestly, I do get a lot of chat engagement. So honestly, thank you, chat. So, to reemphasize, once to give back to my community, to those who like watching but can't financially support, this is for you. American viewers only, because I can't make I can't give foreign currency. But two lucky people will win a ten dollar gift card to my shop, guys! Exclamation point! Shop and chat. Do it now. And you can get ten dollars, or you get a ten dollar gift card that is redeemable whenever you want. It literally never expires. So we have three entries. I wonder who will win. I'm so excited. Everybody, peace. I too pray. Peace. I too pray. Let's go! Non Mag Zero, you win a gift card. Let's go! Plus 10. So, since you won Mag, all you must do is make sure you're following my art Twitter, which is peace in underscore art, and I will DM you the gift card code at the end of stream. Let's go! Paid VIP. <laughs> no, literally, that's not how it works. If I get my biggest gift or VIP, it would go to Cole Bobo. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. I'll DM you after stream your gift card code, but let's go! Let's go! Okay, this is gonna be our final spin. Does anybody else want to join the gift card giveaway? Use your channel points now. I'll give you 10 seconds while I finish my protein shake. I want to win both. That would be insane. Oh, God. Oh, Vic entered. Guys, we have more competition. Vic can't. Hint. I can't, Vic. Okay, we're moving back. Can I redeem again? No. You cannot stuff the ballot boxes. Our final gift card of the day. And this is why people say mail-in ballots are bad. Getting it at the last second. Congrats, Vic! Enjoy your $10 gift card. If you want it, Make sure you're following my art Twitter, which is peace in underscore art, and I will DM you the gift card code after stream. Let's go! Um, the $10 gift cards will never expire, and you can use them whenever you want. Also, I have to mute my mic.
You guys are such little bitches. You know you cannot leave, read my lips. My lips barely move when I talk. You know what? Since I'm so angry, I'm running an ad. Because we're two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. So if you don't want to miss the art giveaway, subscribe now. Loki, you can give the gift card to somebody else. You're so annoying. Ain't no way! I just got another order! Wait, guys, guys! Wait, I hit the wrong layer. Ain't no way! Thank you for your order! Thank you! Let's see. Thank you, Mike. Annoying is my middle name. Okay, Vic, I want you to solemnly swear. You need to type in the chat, I, Vicantant, give up my gift card and we'll respin. I need to see that in Go the chat. Go buy something from the shop. Um, that was not a paid message, even though Mac is facing paid VIP allegations. Thank you, Mac, for the 26 months only... Moly, thank you, Mac. Can we get some wax in chat? Ivy Canton, give up my gift card. Okay, you're literally so annoying. Okay, fine, we'll do a respin. Respin. So fucking annoying. But thank you for entering, Vic. I'm not gonna refund your channel points. You just threw them into the void. Okay. Since Vic doesn't want their gift card because they're a fake fan and they hate my art, let's respin. I hope Spartan gets it. I'm sorry. I hope Spartan gets it. Ringed! Let's go! Two out of two! Or 50% chance. Let's go! Okay, Spartan, I hope you enjoy the gift card. Um... I think you're following me on Instagram, right? So, Spartan, you can either follow my art Twitter, which is peacein underscore art, or my art Instagram, which is peacein underscore art underscore, which I think you might already be following. So DM me there, and I will send you the code or your gift card code after stream. Let's go! And just to make sure you are US, right? <laughs> right? Let's go. Why are you putting a scam emote in the chat? This is not a scam. I'm literally doing the giveaway on stream. It's not like I'm doing it in another tab. Okay, don't call me boo. <laughs> don't call me that. Only your mother can call me that. Okay, now... Now... It's time... For the art giveaway. We've we've been waiting all day for this shit. Okay, gift card. You know what, Vic? I'll be nice. I'll give you your points back. I'll be nice. Now the art giveaway. We had five entries. Now a reminder, the art giveaway is for most any country that I can ship to. Do I get a hollow? Yes, you do. It'll be an additional card that you get um, with your order, Mac, since you placed an order. Thank you, Mac. I'm missing 50 channel points. You already got a gift card, though. $10 is almost an entire card. Update sales counter. Oh my god, you're right. Guys, if we hit five sales today, I'll give away another gift card. I'm not even kidding. Okay, we had five people enter the art giveaway. The art giveaway is a maximum $40 value. Or $44 value. Okay, I'm entering the names in now. If Ethan wins, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm not saying like I'm biased or anything, but like if Ethan wins, I'm gonna be like kind of disappointed.
Do we have anybody else who wants to enter the art giveaway? This is your last call. I want Kim to win. I want Kim to win. Guys, Kim literally bought the whole set already. You guys want her to have like double? If if Kim wins, I swear she's going to scalp it. You know who I want to win? Nobody, because I'm losing money. <laughs> but you know what? Giveaway gifts is technically a write-off. If I win, I'm selling it on eBay. Joking? Thank God you put joking. Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, Spartan, don't worry. We'll do more art drops in the future. Like, we'll, I do giveaways every once in a while. Because, you know, art should be shared. The moment of truth. Who will win the entire line of prints? A up to $44 up to $44 value? Editor, cut out my speech impediment. <laughs> okay. I'm not looking. Lucky! You're so lucky. Tooth was saying they couldn't buy because they can't buy from their country. Let's go. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not even like I'm gonna be straight up on a stack with you guys. I was hoping Tooth would win. I felt so bad because they can't they physically can't buy it. Let's mind my language fucking go. Tooth? Where are you? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> okay, so Tooth, since you're in chat, you're in chat, let's go. Do you want... Where is it? I physically can't get it. No, I'll see if I can mail to your country. I'll see if I can. We'll make it work. Either way, do you want the black and white versions? Or do you want color? If you're a scalper, you should choose color. But like, if you want to color it in yourself, black and white. Really? You want to get the black and white one? W, that's less work for me, baby. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, Tooth, since you won, if you could politely um, DM me on Instagram on my art account, which is peacein underscore art underscore. Um, DM me obviously that your blackish tooth in my jet and then also send me your mailing address and tonight i will verify if i can ship to you and if i can w you'll get it by next week and if not we'll figure out something else for you <clears throat> but yeah let's go i'm so glad tooth won i'm sorry screw everybody else <laughs> wait you have a speech impediment well, it's not like an impediment impediment. It's just I have a brain condition that affects my ability to speak sometimes. So it's kind of like a speech impediment, but like not really. Anyway. I gotta hide the wheel. I almost leaked my website. Guys, just a reminder. Today's stream in its entirety was presented to you by Peace and Art. Wait. Yeah, peaceandart.myshopify.com, guys. Click the link in chat. Make sure you have my website bookmarked, at least. You can also sign up for email alerts. That way you get notified the second something new drops. And the new prints that you saw me work on today are on the, the homepage. You can also find it in the shop, shop section. And the lino print. I want to get the whole collection. Mac, I'm not going to leak. I'm not going to leak. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm such an asshole. Okay, the whole collection is here. If you do buy... If you do buy... If you do... I can't. I'm such an asshole. Okay, anyway, I was going to say it was a joke. The joke was, did Kim give me the whole collection? No, she didn't. She didn't. 
Dude, imagine. That would be crazy. <laughs> she, we're on the phone and she won't tell me. No, it, it was all a bit. It's all a bit. I'm just really good at faking laughing now. That like everybody thinks it's real. I'm I'm not even fucking with you. I did not do anything. Kim didn't do anything. So you're fine. Is it the email thing? What email thing? Oh yeah, I was yeah. Like you'll get it in your inbox. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> dude, I can't. I'm such a jerk. You can find the whole collection under shop lino prints. You can buy the whole set here where you can get all four colored or black and white prints for a slightly discounted price. Or you can get singles to where you have a 10% chance of getting a secret hollow. There you go. Guys, once again, thank you for your support. I know we don't do art often on this channel, but you know what? Art is my passion, and I do have a graphic design degree. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um... The car that we colored together on stream went to Kim because Kim made a second order. So there we go. Okay, that looks cool from a distance. I'll be honest. Ombre does look nice. Okay, I have to sneeze. I feel it coming by the weekend. <laughs> Never mind, peace and light. I almost cried because I sneezed. Okay. I'm going to wrap up stream for today. The plan is simple. I'm not streaming this weekend. I'm hanging out with my sugar mama. So I will see you guys Monday. Monday. But do not worry. Stream is not, not over yet because we did get two resubscriptions. So that means calligraphy. We're going to whip out the second camera again. Um, <clears throat> so probably next stream will be Monday. And I don't know what we're doing. Wait, I still have to be peace lock. Fuck. No, I don't- I don't want to! I don't want to. I told myself I had to be peace lock by July. Fuck. Okay. Well... You still haven't beat that game? Shut up, you don't even know what Pokemon is! I would sit down- Wait, what's the Kendrick song? Bitch, sit down. Be humble. This is not a good look for you. Okay, genuinely, what is a good look for me on my channel? Genuinely. You guys are so cute. You know what? I'll say it. I ship Kim and Mac. They're my OTP. But, like, not in a parasocial way. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. And like I said earlier, the last thing I'll say about the art stuff is whoever places an order... By 12 p.m. PST, we'll get a free hollow. Oh. I'm sorry, Spartan, but the giveaway's over. I'm sorry. I'll refund your points, though. Save it for next time, okay? There you go. You should have gotten your points back. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Okay, what'd you guys think of today's stream, though? I feel like it was very chaotic, but let's be honest. This week has been very chaotic for me. Okay, don't call me boo. You literally got timed out on the second channel. You have to behave here. You have to. <laughs> I think my goal is I still want to work on paintings, right? But I think I'm kind of liking the Lionel Parade cards. Carving stamps is really fun. So I think from this point on, I will try to have art out every month. Not a painting out every month, but I think at least a smaller piece of art, a sm like a Lionel print or like an actual illustration, once a month. But we won't do giveaways every month. We'll do it like every other month. You know, I can't be hemorrhaging money. My business is already down 2K.
Ichinisanshigoroku. Wait, I know how to write Ichi in Japanese. Wait. I just learned. It's... Weebs, fact check me. But Ichi... I think that's Ichi. Oh, wait, you can't see. Is that Ichi? I'm learning on Duolingo, not sponsored. I think that's Ichi. If it's not, I hope it's not a bad word. <laughs> I really hope it's not. <laughs> Japanese test stream went, oh, not for a long ass time. I've only been learning the characters for like less than a week now. Duolingo Japanese is so bad. Wait, really? I mean, the next best thing would just to be go to Japan, right? Should I do it? Fuck it. Should I get further in debt? Once again, thank you, Vic Vicantant, for the 13 month resub at tier two. Thank you, Vic. Okay, Spartan, you're getting a warning now. This is going on your permanent record. Don't call me Boo. This will be reviewed. In the Christmas streams. You're gonna get clapped. Yeah, again. <laughs> Don't call me pet names. Only my sugar mama can do that. My job at Target is pretty high paying. Wait, no way we have another Target worker in the chat. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, once again, thank you, Vic. <laughs> oh, we'll talk about this more later. But depending on if slash when I'm going to Hawaii for the funeral... We may or may not be able to do the subathon on August 2nd for my three year anniversary. So, Oilers, please politely hold. But I assume we'll be able to do it that weekend because I don't think they would plan the arrangement so soon. But I'm not sure. We'll see. Because I will not leak, but let me just say, the orders placed today have paid for because the tickets are going to cost us six hundred each. They've paid for one twelfth of a ticket. W. 
Okay, my nose is literally, literally so itchy. You touch it once and it's over. Okay, once again, thank you to Mac for the 26-month resub. Thank you for your continued support. But Prime! Thank you for subbing for free. Guys. Thank you for the three sales today. I did not think we would get any. So thank you guys. I appreciate those who placed an order. Cough, cough, Matt. Cough, cough, Kim. Thank you both. I hope you guys enjoy your art. It should be sent out latest Wednesday. Smile. Because some of them are still, like the hollows are still drying. So yeah. And I won't be able to go to the post office till at least probably Monday or Wednesday. So. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's wrap it up here for today. Thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out. Like I said earlier, I will not be streaming this weekend. I'm hanging out with my sugar mama. So I will see you guys probably Monday or Tuesday. There will be a new YouTube video out tomorrow at 9 a.m. So make sure you subscribe to the main channel, youtube.com slash at peace 17. And just a reminder, if you won today, so Spartan, Tooth, and Mac, please make sure you DM me on Instagram or Twitter on my business accounts, and I will send you the information so I can give you your prizes. Smile. And we'll go from there. Once again, thank you to Vic and Mac for your resubs. Thank you for continuing to support the stream. I appreciate you both. I hope you guys had fun today. Back to normal content next week. Plan for next week. One off just chatting stream. That way we have a video for next Saturday. Maybe peace lock. Maybe. We'll see how I feel. But depending on if I have to go to Hawaii or not this upcoming weekend, I will do a subathon on August 2nd. So Oilers, politely hold. And hopefully Twitch will give gift will give gift will give discounts for the five gifted or more. Hoping they do that for everybody, not just random users. So yeah. That's the plan for next week. Just a random grab bag. Classic peace and streams. It's 3 p.m. Oh my god. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Holy shit. You guys are so funny. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to those who did place an order. And thank you to those who watched a stream. I promise next art drop, I'll have an actual PowerPoint ready for you guys. I'll break the podium out. I'll do it for the fans. But I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I will see you all probably Monday.